How are you guys doing again? It's Doc Fortin from JKOwners.com and today we're going to be covering a little bit more details and modifications for Hydro Assist Steering. And our vehicle, uh, as usual, is my 2007 uh, Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. And the last time that we, the last videos, I went and I installed some Hydro Assist systems uh, using different manufacturers parts, using the ported steering box from uh, Redneck Ram and also using uh, the Redneck Ram a hydro assist ram um, mounts from poly performance and i've been testing it for a couple of weeks now what i've run into a problem with is i'm actually getting some lag off idle what's happening is um, turning the wheels while the engine is idling and then accelerating through it it's getting lag um, and you can feel that the you can feel how hard it is to turn uh, what that's caused by is that your power steering pump is essentially it's a hydraulic pump, it's a displacement pump. It, the faster it goes, the more it fluid it pumps. So at idle, it's not pumping as much fluid as say when it gets like 1,500 RPM. Uh, when I get up to 1,500 RPM, the tires turn with no problems whatsoever. Now this is going to turn into an issue when I'm doing some technical shit off-road uh, or just parking in a parking garage. And as you can see here, went and changed all the crappy 90 degree fittings of a nice true flow 90 degree fittings uh, all air equip hoses I went and installed a nice big uh, power steering cooler with its own thermostat and fan and I pretty much modified everything I could to try to get more flow through the entire system uh, even went so far my even went so far as the stock power steering pump and drilled out the ports to give it more flow but it's not doing it so the next option is to step up. Uh, for that, I went with one of the biggest companies out there that supply to all sorts of race teams and rock crawling companies. Uh, and that is uh, Performance Steering Components. Uh, they were incredibly great guys to deal with. And they do do full hydro assist steering for Jeeps. Um, and I mean, a lot of people balk at the price, but if you have money and you don't want to fuck around anymore, just buy the entire kit. Uh, also, give them a call because they'll give you a discount if you send in your steering box because the Jeep JK steering box is expensive as fuck and we're the only ones that use it. Now, what I did is for upgrading, I went with one of their performance pumps, um, got rid of the, I'm ditching the factory the hoses all together. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm running uh, AN10 in, so AN10 in, and running the an AN6 out. Uh, also, I'm upgrading all my lines to larger sizes for the return lines. The next thing I did is I'm starting to run out of room. So I said, fuck it, and I dropped the money, and it's time to make things more compact. This is uh, PSC's newest bling kick-ass product. What this is, is this is a power steering reservoir and filter built into one. Everything is machine billet aluminum, Fucking all pimp and shit, but the kick-ass thing is, if you notice, there's a built-in filter, and I mean, this thing is beefy. There is no way in hell that I'm going to damage this damn thing. And the fittings for it are AN10 out and AN8 in. Um, what I had them do is for my return line off of my off of my power steering box, I had them make me a fitting so that I could run AN8 return line back. And what that does is that gets the hot fluid out of the box faster and back to the cooler, back through the system. Well, let me go and install all this shit and post up some results and post up some more images for you guys. Okay, back to the install. Now, running into a slight problem here, the PSC filter reservoir is actually too big to fit into the stock location without hitting the hood. Uh, it hits those stupid little bumps right there. So I'm going to have to relocate it. Luckily, um, PSC uh, already has an advised location for it. And what it's going to be is mounted up up here uh, next to the battery compartment. Now, there's the benefit of this, of course, is that you get a better gravity feed to the pump that is located there. The downfall being is that it's directly above the exhaust manifold. Now, because I have a big ass cooler I'm not really worried about that too much now since I'm since I'm recording let me show you some other shit uh, that's got installed now 
went and installed all the fittings um, from PSC to the box. So you see there's no more factory fittings there. It's all nice AN fittings, reusable ends, press lock tube. Okay, we're just about done here. Um, got my PSC reservoir filter mounted up high, nice direct line gravity feed directly in the pump. Uh, but the reason why I stopped actually is to show you some of my craptacular fabrication. That fitting. Okay, see all the JB weld and shit? Ignore it. The JB weld is there just in case I got some pinholes for my actual welding on the steel. It's, it's upstream anyway, and it's on its way back to the filter, so I'm not worried about I'm not too worried about it. But what I, the reason why I showed you it, it's a reminder that you need to plan out all of your items in advance. Uh, what I forgot to order is I forgot to order an AN8 to AN8T with a pipe fitting so that I could run my thermostat. Uh, I had the steel fittings floating around, so I welded the bitch up. But if, you, if I would have went and drawn this all shit out on paper and placed my order, I would have gotten this piece and I would never have had to stop. It's been a half an hour making this damn thing. And here we are finishing up our hydro assist setup. Uh, you can see I got the, uh, the PSC reservoir filter combo mounted up there. Uh, also, it's double clamped in place so it's not going to go anywhere. Also, if you do mount your power steering reservoir in that location, you want to run a vent line. Um, I haven't ran mine yet, but before you go off-roading or even drive normally, because if it does overflow, it's going to splash onto the passenger side exhaust manifold down there, and it will catch fire. But as you can hear, there's no squealing, no weird-ass noises going on. Okay, now we have 37 inch tires on uh, recentered Humvee bead locks. They're heavy as fuck. Each tire wheel combo weighs about 130 pounds. Uh, right now, the vehicle is idling and the passenger side tire uh, is up against the curb. And I just wanted to show you exactly how easy it is to turn it at idle. Okay? One finger. Okay, the entire. <laughs> The entire Jeep is getting shifted to the side, okay? And, like I said, I'm doing this with one finger, okay? And back. And it's actually pushing my Jeep about a foot and a half to either direction. So, as you can see, the Hydro Assist makes a huge difference, especially when you're bound up in rocks. Um, uh, off-roading or just generally driving, especially when you're running heavy mud drain tires. Well, that's it for now. And like I said, I'm Doc Fortin from JKOwners.com. Uh, please come in and visit the modified forum and you can see the full write-up on this and details on how to run your own hydro assist system. Uh, and have a nice day.